Hi everyone and welcome to part 50 of my GTA LCS special vehicle guide. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to obtain tip proof vehicles from the firefighter mission. Now the first thing you need to do is you need to get a car to spawn quite nearby the um, garage. So anywhere in Harwood, St Mark's and Hepburn Heights. If you're on Portland these are the areas you want to spawn vehicles. If you spawn any vehicles in the sort of Portland view area, Trenton, Callahan Point, Chinatown, forget it. You basically just cancel the mission, retry the mission, until you get a vehicle to spawn somewhere near the safe house garage, which is there. And you can do this quest at any time during the game, um, but you just have to be in a fire engine and do firefighter. So, and this is the PSP and PS2 method of doing this. So what you do is when you spawn your vehicle, you have to go and put out the fire you're going to see why you want to have the vehicle close to the garage. You have to push it back to the garage basically. And the closer it is to the garage, the easier this quest is going to be. So you go up to the vehicle and you put out the fire. Just like that. This is very easy. All you have to do is wait for the level to go up to level 2. And when the next vehicle spawns, then you end the mission. And now what you do is you push, push this vehicle all the way back to the garage. And it is locked. I'm going to prove it to you now so you don't ever question me. It's locked. So what you have to do now is you have to push it to the garage. And if you're on PS2, you cannot have this blowing up. So you're going to have to be careful to push it back. If you're on PSP, this can blow up, but it's not really worth it because then it will be harder to restore in the garage. You might as well just get it back pretty intact. So... Just be careful and I'm sure you'll make it. Yeah, the only problem with this area is there are so many hills and it's so annoying to get back to the garage, but with a bit of patience, I'm sure you'll make it. And there are 11 different vehicles that you can obtain from this mission. I've made a list of them in the video description intro and the actual video description. Yeah, this is really badly done. I normally am much, much faster with this. But there we go, I'm filming, so... So now what I need to do is I need to empty my garage. And if the car's intact, it's not going to disappear, so you can take as much time as you want. But if it's blown up, then you have to kind of waste time looking at it and stuff like that. And getting it in the garage is a little bit dodgy as well, because um, sometimes you're going to need a motorbike to jam the door open. If this is the case, just simply find one on the road. But in this example, I'm just going to use a motorbike that I have just to speed things up. I'm not saving this car, so it doesn't matter if I lose the motorbike. So when you've jammed the door open, like that, you want to give the sentinel off, oh, for sake. There we go. When you're ready, you basically just give the vehicle a huge shunt. Like that. Done. And now you have a tip proof vehicle. Now I'm going to prove that it is tip proof after all. Oh man. Right, let me just restore this thing in the garage. Goodness me, what a hassle. Right. Tip proof testing time. Basically the tip proof property is a bit of an odd one because it only works under very strict conditions. You have to basically get out of the car really quickly when it's tipped otherwise it will blow up anyway. So yeah, let's hope this works. Oh 
for heaven's sake. And there we go. Finally, I tipped the Sentinel over. As you can see, it is not catching fire, therefore it's a tip-proof car. Thanks, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.